Can you spare a compliment, please, sir? Can you spare a compliment? I have on this fine fragrance, and all I need to boost my ego is one compliment. Just tell me I smell nice, please. Hey, friends. Ash here with Gen Sense. Hope you're doing well. It's that time of year again. Top 10 most complimented fragrances of 2021 time. So obviously, this stretches back to the beginning of the year in January, which feels like it was five years ago. Yeah, it feels like a long time. Up through today. And I'm going to be talking to you guys about some of the fragrances that have performed the best at pulling unsolicited compliments from people around me. Uh, I don't know <laughs> how else those people would be other than around me, not, in, not inside me. So yeah, that out of the way, let's uh, let's jump into it. Quick disclaimer, gotta throw this out every time I feel like, typically compliments are gonna be given by people you already know. So your coworkers, your friends, your acquaintances, people you go to school with, whatever, people you know. Because it's just way easier if the person already knows you to say, hey, what are you wearing? You smell nice, whatever, that kind of stuff. As opposed to just a complete stranger who you might walk by and they go <laughs> and come up behind you. What do you got on? A lot of people don't, don't want to do that. So yeah, keep that in mind. Usually it's gonna come from people you know. That doesn't mean though that, you know, strangers or people that you're around that maybe you're not super tight with, super close with, aren't gonna smell you and think that you smell amazing. It's just not as many of those people are gonna come up and tap you on the shoulder and let you know. And friends, we're also gonna be doing a giveaway of a full bottle of my fragrance, Jet Black Enigma, which I creatively directed in collaboration with Michael Malul London. This thing also great at getting you compliments, but I'm completely biased. I'm not gonna put it on my top 10 list but I am gonna give away a bottle to one of you guys. And I'll link this and all the other fragrances in the description. If you wanna check my fragrance out, Jet Black Enigma, use the code Gent sense it will save you 20 percent off the bottle under 100 bucks for this for the full size you know full prezi great deal great fragrance seriously it's, it's freaking awesome all right let's throw out just a few really quick honorable mentions very very quickly first up interlude black iris from homage i think this thing smells amazing my wife loves it this is the best interlude fragrance from homage in my opinion better than the original better than interlude 53 this is the one. It's smoky, just like the original, but it's smoother. The iris in here really rounds everything out, makes it more wearable. It's a surprisingly big compliment puller because the original interlude could be divisive. A lot of people didn't like that one. It was too strong for some people. And this one basically just, it takes that scent profile, the DNA to the next level. And that one you can pick up at Twisted Lily. If you ever shop there, use the code GENTS10, save 10% off the entire website. And then also Vetiver Sensual from Mancera. This one is a really nice vetiver fragrance, obviously. It's got a lot of citrus in there. It's got additional woodsy notes. And this one is not the type of fragrance to get you mind-blowing compliments, you know, where people are like, oh, what do you have on? It's more the type of fragrance that's just really clean, fresh, easy to wear, and smells gentlemanly. So it's that kind of fragrance where people are gonna be like, oh, you smell nice. So yeah, this is so stupid. <laughs> I'm like breaking down compliments and different types of compliments. This one is more you smell nice. That one's a mind blowing sexy beast. So yeah, I've had ever since well, really good solid office fragrance onto the top 10. Oh, wait, 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 wait. And the last honorable mention, I know uh, three honorable mentions is Luna Rosa Ocean from Prada. I didn't really have this one long enough to wear it long enough to compete with the top 10. So that is why it's not in the official top 10, but I think it's a great, super versatile blue fragrance from Prada. It has that kind of clean edge that you would expect from the house. It does smell like maybe a bunch of different blue fragrances put together in that one. So you might get some similarities to some other scents that are out there, but it's really well done. All right, number 10, Missoni Wave. Finally, the official top 10. C notes, citrus, lavender, and vetiver, are some of the notes in this fragrance. This is a great warm weather scent and it has grown on me a bunch as the year went on. This one smells a little bit like Versace Pour Homme mixed with a bit of Chanel Allure Homme Sport, uh, which is kind of funny because those two fragrances get compared to each other. And, and this one is basically like taking a bit from that one and a bit from that one and stirring it together. Here you go. Feels like it's got a little bit more depth than Versace Pour Homme and it's not quite as creamy as Allure Homme Sport. So it's almost like the Goldilocks fragrance. You know, it's doing what those fragrances do, but maybe in that, that way that just 
works, you know? And it kind of goes without saying that this one would be a big compliment puller just because Versace Pour Homme and Allure Homme Sport from Chanel both are as well. And where this is taking, you know, some of the best parts of each one of those, this one, fantastic in warm weather. And frankly, you can wear it in the cold as well, you know, especially if you're gonna be in air conditioned spaces a lot. Number nine, Lanouis de Lone Blue Electrique. This is one of my favorite releases of the year. I think this is a fantastic designer release. Cardamom, lavender, cedar, and ginger, some of the notes in here. This takes that original Lanouis de Lone DNA that so many people have rocked for so long as, you know, the pinnacle of one of the date night designer fragrances, basically La Nuit de Lome and The One from Dolce & Gabbana. It takes that La Nuit de Lome DNA with that, that cardamom forward scent profile, modernizes it and gives it a, a slight blue twist, which frankly makes it smell even better. It's more versatile, it's more usable, it still absolutely crushes. People love the way this thing smells. La Nuit de Lome Blue Electrique is fantastic. Number eight. Kind of a, a go-to for me, a cheapy go-to. Now the prices have been raising a little bit on this. They've been rising a little bit, I should say, at discounters. It used to be you could pick this up around $30, sometimes less, sometimes around $25, and it's been getting more expensive, which is never a good thing. It's Womo from Ferragamo. This one has tiramisu, it's got cardamom again. Yeah, cardamom, it's everywhere. It has tonka, it has ambroxan. It's a very sweet coffee forward fragrance with a good amount of warmth. Great performance in this one. I love the bottle. I mean, some people don't, but I think it looks cool. And this thing right here will pull you lots of attention. Also, Womo Signature, same line, same house, obviously also a great pickup. So that's another one that you should keep your eyes on. I tend to reach for this one a little bit more, or I did this year, I should say, but both of those are great. Number seven, Leighton from Parfums de Marly. Yeah, Leighton is the, is the go-to for PDM. It's the one that everybody knows, everybody talks about. So that's a little bit boring in that sense, you know, but it just works. It's just one of those things. Sometimes, there's not really a lot more you need to say other than that. It just works. People go crazy for Leighton. Uh, I think that the original is better than Leighton Exclusive. I know that a lot of people like Leighton Exclusive more, like more hardcore fragrance people will say because it has this animalic side. But if you're just talking mass appeal, the original Leighton overall is gonna work out better for you. I know this is like, this is really mind blowing. This is kind of like undercover, so keep it on. But your average lady or guy uh, typically does not gravitate toward a fragrance that smells like butt. I, I know it's, it's difficult to wrap your head around that. What do, you, what do you mean? They don't like my animalic fart fragrance? It's exquisite. How do you not appreciate this? You must be a pleb yeah average people don't uh they don't go for that so that sweet sexy spicy feeling that leighton has with apple vanilla spices without the animalic edge that's the way to go if you're looking for attention compliments etc number six le mal le parfum good old le mal Making a comeback. It's got cardamom, vanilla, lavender, and iris as some of the notes in the scent. Of course, uh, Ultra Mall. That was a big compliment puller. Still is. Still is. Um, La Mall Eau Fraiche or Popeye Eau Fraiche. All the different iterations of that Superman Eau Fraiche. That line of fragrances, which are all the same fragrance, just in different bottles. Also great for pulling compliments. But since those two... They released a lot of flankers and most of them just kind of came and went. People would get moderately excited for the new releases. They would buy them and go, hey, it's all right. And it would just kind of get shuffled off, you know? And then Lamal Le Parfum came out and this thing has got some staying power. This is the type of fragrance that's gonna be around for a while. It's gonna command some attention. It's gonna become a lot of people's signature scents. It's not one of those fragrances that just comes and goes and nobody really thinks about it again. So for me, this does have that original Lamal DNA in here, kind of underneath it all. You can still pick it up. You can still easily place it as a Lamal fragrance, but here it's it's richer, it's more mature. It's got more going on. It's it's modernized as well. It's not as, not as, 
powdery with that kind of mm, more old school feel that the original has. And it actually kind of pains me to say old school talking about Lamal. It's not old school to me. Ugh. Lamal Le Parfum is a wonderful fragrance for cool weather. You can wear that thing formally. You can wear it casually. You can wear it to the office, wear it on a date and people love it. Gonna take us into number five and it is, <laughs> it's Dior Homme 2020. Oh, oh no, <laughs> they're coming with the pitchforks and the torches. Oh, they're gonna burn it down. They're gonna burn my house down. Yeah, a lot of people, um, they, they still have that hate on for Dior Homme 2020, drinking that haterade while taking the Esca hater. And I get it because I myself was a hater of Dior Homme 2020. Talked about it before, but you know, Dior Homme, they switched it completely. When they went to Dior Homme 2020, they took the iris from the original that so many people love, including myself. And they said, let me get that and just <clears throat> get it out of here. Basically everything that was Dior Homme, the original, they just went you know, threw it into a volcano, kicked it off of a helicopter into a volcano. And then they came out with Dior Homme 2020, which has Isoe Super and Cashmere in and Vetiver and Pink Pepper, a little bit of bergamot in there. Very modern, uh, woodsy type of scent. Very sophisticated, gentlemanly, uh, not rough around the edges. It's got that kind of fuzzy, woodsy warmth that so many scent profiles have nowadays. And a bit of fresh spice, It's it's frankly, Really, 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 really good smelling. Yeah, so I mean, what are you gonna do? <laughs> it's one of those things that the more I wore it, the more I liked it. And I still really, really, really do like that. Like when I smell this now, it's just fantastic. And I can wear this stuff anywhere, any season, any situation. This is probably, I would say in the top five most versatile fragrances designer wise from my entire collection. Your own 2020 has done very well for me, despite how much I hated it when it came out. Number four, Aqua de Jo Profundo. Good old Aqua de Jo. Now, Aqua de Jo, uh, I've said this before, but if you've maybe not seen the channel so much, is a fragrance that I love. The original Aqua de Jo, I wore like crazy. When I was a teenager working at the mall, the local mall, I was interacting with people all day, every day. And Aqua du Jo was what I was wearing like 90% of the time. And I cannot overstate to you how many unsolicited compliments I pulled wearing Aqua du Jo back in the day at the mall. It was insane. It was legitimately every single day, multiple compliments. People were just like enamored with that fragrance, which is why I wore it so often. I had other ones but they didn't work like Aqua de Joe. Now I've had all the flankers over the years and some of them I've liked more than others. You know, some just didn't work for me. Others, I thought this is really nice. I like what they've done here. But with Profundo, it's like it just clicked again with me. Uh, a lot of people would say that with Profumo, that Profumo just really set it off for them. And I like Profumo but not the same way I like Profundo. This one has that Aqua de Joe DNA front and center. Again, like a number of fragrances here, slightly modernized, tweaked. It's been given a green edge to it. You have some mineralic notes underneath everything else, but still at the end of the day, it's Aqua de Joe. When you smell it, there's no mistaking. And you might think that the Aqua de Joe DNA just doesn't work like it used to, and you would be wrong. It still absolutely does. Number three, we're in the top three finally the most wanted from Azaro. So this is a fragrance that's not super duper unique. You might be able to say it borrows from some other fragrances out there, some popular fragrances like Stronger With You from Emporio Armani, among others. And yet it just does so well <laughs> pulling attention. When I gave a first impression on it, obviously it was sitting, sitting right here, you know, took it out of the box, pss, 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 sprayed it on, smelled it. Thought it smelled nice, you know, not bad. Thought it was fine but you can't really evaluate compliment factor 100% when you're when you're just smelling it on your own, you know. You have to wear it out and about, you know. You have to test it, see how it works. And when I did that, I realized wow, something in here is just blowing people away. Like what are, what do they have in here? They got MSG? Did they put that in there? Illegal drugs? Narcotics? There's something in here that when people smell it, they're just like, what's that? Got amberwood, cardamom, and toffee. 
So those are the, the three big notes in here. Toffee is really what ties it in with Stronger With You and some of the other fragrances that have been released uh, over the past you know, couple of years or so. At the Most Wanted is a big time, attention grabbing, semi gourmand fragrance that people just love. All right, before we do the final two fragrances, let's do the giveaway. Check it out, it's still sealed. Yeah, see that? This is what you'll win. Again, it's my fragrance Jet Black Enigma. I creatively directed this. I've got a video on the channel where I go over the, the details on the fragrance. You can also check it out on Michael Mullo's website, which is listed down below. And again, code Gent Sense. Gent Sense. 20% off. And I've gotten fantastic feedback from this fragrance. Lots of compliments, but again, I'm biased, so I, I can't like really put it in this list. It'd be kind of hokey. So if you want to be entered to win a full bottle of this fragrance, all you have to do is like the video, be subscribed to the channel and leave a comment below just letting me know what is your most complimented fragrance of the year. That's all you got to do. And I'll do this internationally. I'll send this to you wherever you are. Here in about 10 days, I'll pick a winner with random comment picker. If you're the winner, hit me up and I will ship that out to you. Just shoot me your, your address. And you should see it if you're subscribed because I'll post it up on the community tab. It should pop up on your homepage when you uh, log on to YouTube. So good luck. All right, top two, here we go. Number two, Light Blue Forever from Dolce & Gabbana. It has vetiver, it has grapefruit, ozonic nodes, bergamot, and a bit of musk also. So this one right here, just, oh man, I fell in love with it the first time I smelled it. It is insanely good. Assuming that you like a realistic kind of rindy grapefruit opening, not fully sweet. You know, it's sweet and sour. It's got a little bit of tartness in there. Just blew me away the first time I smelled it. I absolutely love this stuff. I wouldn't mind to bathe in it. I just spray it on like crazy. And I got a ton of positive feedback with this thing. And I love the bottle also. I think that changing the cap to look like the Dolce & Gabbana pour own bottles instead of the light blue bottles, it's a good move. The whole thing, I love the whole thing. Number one, most complimented fragrance. Why Eau de Parfum? Yeah, some people are gonna say, man, that's, that's a boring choice, but you wanna say that to all the people that complimented me, not to me. People like it, man, what do you want me to do? This one has apple, sage, ginger, amberwood, tonka, a little bit of bergamot in there. For the past year or so, why Eau de Parfum and also why Le Parfum have been my go-to blue fragrances. I, I wear them more often than I wear Sauvage. I wear them more often than I wear Bleu de Chanel. Part of the reason for that is because uh, I wore Bleu de Chanel heavily years back. And then um, Sauvage, I wore, you know, after Bleu de Chanel and right now, wearing why it's kind of going from one line to the next you know if you wear it a whole heck of a lot for a number of years you're kind of like well let me let me switch it up a little bit but why eau de parfum and and now why le parfum have worked so well for me and i love that they're definitely blue fragrances <laughs> in the sense that they're made for maximum mass appeal and versatility you know any season day or night that's what they're made for but they have their own style, that kind of apple, sage, ginger, amberwood. It comes across differently than Blue de Chanel or Sauvage. When you smell Y Eau de Parfum, you're just like, there it is, why? Y Eau de Parfum has worked unbelievably well since I first got it. It still does, and it still commands so much attention anywhere I go. Number one. All right, guys, that is it. My most complimented fragrances of 2021. Again, if you want to enter that giveaway, make sure to do so. Good luck with that. Stay safe out there. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you later.